So it's not long now until we see the highly anticipated release of the final installment of the Tales of Arcadia franchise, the upcoming Netflix film Troll Hunters Rise of the Titans. Now I'll be honest, I'm not really all that keen. Not because I'm not eagerly anticipating what will probably be a good film, but because I don't want the franchise to end. We've had the franchise consistently releasing installments since 2016, and then it'll just be over. It's been one of those series that was most likely intended for a young audience, but had great writing that appealed to all ages. And it has a good balance of drama, fantasy, and humour. And in all seriousness, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we get some kind of spin-off from this saga. But then again, it has been stated that this is the final installment, so who knows. That being said though, we still have the movie to come. And with that release date coming closer and closer, I thought this video would be a good opportunity to talk about some of my own predictions for Rise of the Titans and what will happen in the course of the film. We'll start first of all by talking about what we know is going to happen based on the content and the trailers that have dropped and what we can infer based on that knowledge. We know that the primary villain of the film, or at least the one that's been presented as the main villain by the trailers and the end of Wizards, is the Arcane Order, and that during the course of the film they're going to awaken the Titans, huge elemental monsters, with the goal of wiping out life on Earth and starting afresh. So based on this we can assume the basic outline of the plot will be this. The Arcane Order wakes up the Titans which makes the heroes team up to try and take one down. They fail on their first attempt and go back to the drawing board to start fresh. They then split up into teams to take each of the Titans down in an enormous battle as well as finishing off the Arcane Order in the final confrontation before the credits roll. It's a tried and true formula and it's pretty much what happens in each of the seasons of the various different shows. But this time, it's simply condensed for a movie format. We also know now from the trailers that Jim both gets a new set of armor, which looks pretty similar to his original gear in the beginning of Troll Hunters, and he pulls Excalibur from out of the stone. So I have no idea if the armor means he gets a brand new amulet, but I doubt it. Toby and Claire have their own built armor, so I don't see why Jim wouldn't just have his own as well. As for Excalibur, I think this pretty much seals the deal on Jim being the main protagonist in the film. Yes, the other characters are going to be important as well, but if anybody's going to be fighting the final battle and getting the final kill, it'll be old Jimbo. And whilst yeah, it might be a little disappointing that one of the other protagonists from the other series won't lead the charge, it makes sense to go with the character we started with, and is the clear fan favourite. It especially makes sense after the ending of Wizards, where Jim seems all depressed and unsure of himself. I think it's much better that he gets the sword and finds his purpose early on, rather than spending half the film sulking and sad. We also know that this one's a full team up film, which makes sense for the ultimate finale. In Wizards we got to see almost all our heroes team up to fight the Arcane Order, but this time we get the full cast, with the characters that have been on Acheridian finally making their long awaited return, including Aja, Vavatos Vex, and Eli Pepperjack who looks like he's been taking some alien growth hormones. So obviously the Arcane Order and the Titans are going to attack first and beat the tar out of the heroes currently on Earth. And I assume at that point we'll see the others return from space to make a new plan and split off to fight the various different battles. So it's pretty much the Infinity War formula, which yeah, considering how successful that was, would be a smart thing to emulate. The last thing I wanted to mention when it comes to plot points that we know for sure, is that Guillermo del Toro stated the movie will be about escaping to somewhere new. And this could imply a few things, but I think there's only a couple scenarios possible. Either one, the Titans and the Arcane Order sort of succeed in cleansing the planet to a certain extent and thus the gang has to use magic to restore it or make it something new that can be inhabited, thus escaping the old Earth to the new Earth. Two, the Earth gets totaled and everybody goes to a different planet with the help of the Acheridians. Or three, it's decided that magical beings and humans can't mix anymore after the Arcane Order declares war on life and thus at the end of the movie the trolls move on to a different plane of existence or planet where they can live in peace. Very how to train your dragon. So pretty much at the end, everybody's going to be sad. A super tin foil option 4 is that they use magic to move Arcadia Oak somewhere else. And now that we've talked about things that we do know, let's put on our tin foil hats and start baselessly speculating on things that could happen. And we'll start with something that I am pretty certain is going to happen. A key character death, either midway through the film to build up tension and suspense, or towards the end. Now normally I think films like this might shy away from that kind of plot device, but I still remember Vendel. Rest in peace, Vendel. And so, I will never trust again. I've made a video previously speculating about who would die in Rise of the Titans, so watch that if you want, but long story short, I'm going to spoil it right now. Blinky. Blinky, in my opinion, is toast. The cast is really big, and it's getting to the point where you need to kind of cut it down to add any stakes at all, especially after Jim's death in Wizards. We kind of need some mortal stakes here. And I think if Jim's going to be the lead hero... It just makes sense that it would be his father figure that bites the dust. Plus, it gives him more incentive to fight the Order. 
Because honestly, they're much more of a dukesy themed villain based on how they slaughtered Merlin at the end of Wizards. Plus, if we see James Lake Sr. at all, which has been hinted at significantly through the series, and has also been hinted at by various different creators, then it makes sense for Jim to confront his dad after his father figure bites the dust. It would tie off his arc quite nicely in my opinion and really flesh out Jim's character even more. And in the trailer, Jim even makes a specific point on singling out how Blinky's very important to him. To me, that's foreshadowing, so expect a very emotional goodbye to a beloved character. Beyond that, I kind of expect the ending of the film to be cliché with an epilogue of some kind. I feel like cinematic and TV universes love this kind of thing where you have a brief time skip of like 5-10 to 10 years so that you can see your heroes grown up and living a more peaceful existence and even see kids and all that. Plus this means they can chuck in a teaser for anything in the future they want to do if they want to pick it back up or keep going. Just because Tales of Arcadia is ending doesn't mean they can't continue the universe in some form or another. And if they are going to set up anything for the future, it probably wouldn't make sense to do so until after the Arcane Order and Titan storylines wrapped up, which would of course take up most of the runtime. I mean, I could easily see a brand new story centering around Duxie and Archie, but who knows? And ultimately, that's all I've got for predictions for what's to come. I mean, yes, there are plenty of other things that could potentially happen, but ultimately the runtime of the film limits how much they can actually do as opposed to doing a season or two extra. And because of that, the majority of the movie's realistically going to be fighting scenes, and so plot points are going to get cut down in response to this. That being said though, those are just my opinions, and now I'd like to hear yours. What do you think is going to happen in Rise of the Titans? Are you excited to see how it ends? Make sure to leave a comment and let me know.